That's another question? Yeah, thanks a lot. I, I wanted to know whether you've discussed or, or, or are also raising the idea of this not happening in other countries. Like the, I've asked DPKO, have they changed in any way the way they screen people brought from areas that have cholera before deploying? Are you aware of anything on, on that front? And also with, with the Office of Legal Affairs, I mean, I know that, uh, they, 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 has there been any contact other than that, that letter where they said not receivable? Have you heard that it may, there's going to be a chance, supposedly Patricia O'Brien is going to become the ambassador of Ireland uh, to the UN in Geneva? Would, is that something, does that change, not change the timeline, but are you, what can you say about that? And just more generally, rule of law. Does the UN preaching to countries about the rule of law and the need for accountability, do you get any traction on that? Is that something you'll raise in the case? What do you want to say about that? Thanks. Um, yeah, first, in the first question, in response to the, to, to, has the UN done anything to prevent it from happening? That's what this uh, Physicians for Haiti report is all about, that, that the UN experts report made the recommendations expressly to prevent this from happening. Again, two years later, the UN has declined to, to, uh, to implement those, those, those recommendations. So, quick answer, no. Um, second, in terms of do we expect the UN to act any differently, we are, the sum total of, of, of responses from the UN was, one letter, December 21st of 2011, uh, three or four sentences saying to get back to us in due course, and then the letter of, of February 2013 saying the claims were not receivable. Um, you know, we, we'd love for the UN to, to, to change course and to say, yeah, let's talk about a more efficient way of, of resolving this dispute. We'd rather spend money on, on compensating poor victims than, than compensating our high-powered law firms in New York. Um, We'd love to hear that. We'd love to have that conversation, but we're we're not expecting to have that that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And the broader case, yeah. I mean, obviously, this is this is um, the failure to to. Let me step back. So I, I worked as a as a human rights officer for the UN in Haiti in 1995 and 1996. And one of the things we were doing this was just after the return of democracy in Haiti. And we were trying to establish the rule of law there. And one of the things we were doing was talking to judges and police officers and prosecutors and individual people saying, look, the rule of law is important. You need to make, yes, you might be able to benefit from corruption and cronyism and friends and things like that personally, but in the long run, you everybody hurts. And what we all need to do is to, is to subject ourselves to the rule of law, which will in the long term be good for the whole country. And it's obviously, when you're making that kind of collective argument, it's obviously extremely subversive if some people are, are getting away with it. Um, the UN's doing the same thing today. I mean, this mandate includes working with the police, working with the prosecutors, with judges, and so today there's a there's a training session going on in Haiti where UN uh, trainees are telling Haitian judges or prosecutors or police that they need to subject themselves to the rule of law and they can't let their personal interest get in the way of that. And what do you think that the the, the police trainees thinking about that when they see the you know the blue helmet or the blue hat making that that argument? Of course, you think we call. And, 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 and the UN's trying to do the same things again. You know, this is why I joined up with the UN, because I think those, that kind of promotion of the rule of law is a very good thing. But this obviously undermines the, the UN's ability to carry out that mission anywhere in the world.